Good afternoon. Happy Hanukkah. Happy day one. Hope you're having an awesome time. So we light eight nights of Hanukkah, eight candles. One the first night, two the second, and so on every night. But which is the most important candle? And the answer, of course, is that the shamash is the most important candle because the shamash stands taller than all the other candles. But the question we might ask is, I don't understand. Why should the shamash be the most important one? The shamash is not even part of the eight candles. It's just used in order to kindle the other ones. But on its own, it has no merit. It's just there because we don't want to use the light of the candles itself. So we have a shamash to use to light the other ones. So why would it be the most important one? And in a letter, the Lubavitcher ever wrote a beautiful thought. And he says like this, at the end of the day, the most important one is the one that gives for others and the one that kindles others. Yes, all the candles are bright. There's day one, there's day two, there's day three. But they keep the light for themselves. The shamish, its whole being is to serve others. Its whole being is to give, to care. And therefore, it is greater than all the other ones. It's like the parent, the father who could stay at work l later and earn more money, but instead he goes home to be with his kids, to spend more time with his children. It's the mother who gives up so much of herself in order to take care of her children or the community. It's the community leaders. You know, at the end of the day, the shamash ends up being taller than the rest. Because when you actually give, when you nurture for others, then you rise and it makes you greater and it makes you better. You know, for years, the Lubavitcher Rebbe would give out dollars every Sunday to thousands of people. And it was a way for people to interact with the Rebbe and ask for his blessing and ask for his prayers. And the Rebbe always said, he repeated from the free the Rebbe from the previous Rebbe, that when two Jews meet, they have to think about how they're going to help a third Jew. And therefore, even though they were meeting for a blessing, the Rebbe always gave them a dollar and said, put this in the charity. Let's think of a way how we could help a third Jew. And that's really the message. The message is that we are lamplighters. We have to use the light that we have to share with others, to give with others. The Rebbe once was trying to get a Jewish leader to get engaged in outreach, and he wasn't really so interested. You know, he said he has enough on his plate. And the Rebbe said to him, what's the most important thing a human being has? He says, the heart. The heart makes everything pump. It's the brain or the heart. But the heart is very valuable. So the Rebbe said, what's the most important thing? side in, in Judaism, right or left? He says, right. So the Rebbe said, if that's the case, where's the heart? The heart's on the left. Why wouldn't God put the heart on the right side, which is the most important side? And the man listened, the Rebbe says, you know why? Because the heart is there to be when you face another human being and they need your help, that your heart should be to their right. Your empathy should be there for them. And that's why God put our heart on the left side because it's there for others to feel, to care for those around us. So Hashem should bless us this Hanukkah that we should be lamplighters and we should be givers. We are in the midst of a two-day campaign. Giving Tuesday Hanukkah for Chabad at Chestnut Hill and Camp Khan Israel Scholarship Fund. And if you haven't yet contributed, this is the time to be a shamash, to be a leader. And if you're able to, to contribute, to help others, to make a difference in the work we do and be, allow us to continue growing and continue being a light, a shamish for all those around us. You can go to www.chabadch.com forward slash match, and we would be grateful for your participation. Happy Hanukkah. And remind that tonight, candle number two after sunset, sundown actually, which is about here in Boston. It's a little bit after 4 p.m. Enjoy your family. Celebrate with some latkes and donuts and have a great second night.